All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great session with the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now, the race to uncover the truth about Tinubu's Chicago State University certificate continues. And for those who have followed this case honestly and closely, it has become clear to them at this point that this man did not attend that school. But there is a lot of compromise at work. First of all, from the school itself. At this point, it has become clear, say, Tinubu gets insiders, many for that school. If not, they should have been able to come out now to blow everything out in the open. But they are still covering him up. And there is only one explanation for that. They are working together. And the second compromise is from the Nigerian judiciary. Because even the certificate that is before them right now is enough to even disqualify Tinubu. Because it is a female, not male, that was stated on that certificate. And if the judiciary wants to clearly uncover the whole of this thing, even from that Chicago State University, it will take them a week to do so. But they have been compromised, so they are not doing that. Therefore, well-meaning Nigerians have now decided to use the little resources at their disposal to uncover the crimes of APC and Tinubu. And one of the recent efforts of a well-meaning Nigerian was able to show that the Tinubu that attended and graduated from Chicago State University in 1979 was actually called Gloria Bola Tinubu, meaning she was a female and not the male that is parading himself now. And when this well-meaning Nigerian found this out, she made a video and put it on social media. And the video immediately went viral. And as soon as Nigerians began to see this video, they said, eh, so Chicago State University, this is what you people are doing. You want to destroy our country. You make sure your own country is good. You do things right there. But, but when it comes to African countries, you want us to remain slaves to you? Nigerians convex. They now went to all the official handles of Chicago State University from their LinkedIn to their Twitter to their Facebook and began bombarding them with messages asking them to do the right thing and speak the whole truth about Tinubu. Before I show you how Nigerians reacted, let me first show you the video where this lady exposed this whole thing that it was Gloria Tinubu that attended the school. Um in from um chicago state university any university from the u.s schools uh, database okay you can search for a family member so i'm going to search i'm going to put in b and i'm going to put in tinumbu okay um and then the yearbook date i'm going to put 1979 and i'm going to click on search it comes out with Gloria B. Tinumbu. Gloria B. Tinumbu. I need somebody to explain. You saw what happened there. This lady went to the U.S. school's database just to do a quick verification. And she went to the Chicago State University column. She went to the Chicago State University yearbook. And then she put in the name Tinubu and the year of graduation. The year that Tinubu said he graduated, which is 1979. Then she clicked search and you saw what happened. Gloria B. Tinubu popped up. This is clear evidence that the person who attended that school was Gloria B. Tinubu. So this means that a Tinubu actually attended the school in 1979. So that certificate is not actually fake. But the certificate does not belong to this Tinubu. It belongs to a certain Gloria B. Tinubu. So when Chicago State University wrote to Nigeria that Bola Tinubu attended the school, yes, Bola Tinubu attended the school, but it was Gloria Bola Tinubu. A female! And when Nigerians saw this, they became so angry. They said, Chicago State University, waiting with do now. Why una they hide record that can move Nigeria forward 
a record that we can use to put criminals in their place and we can begin to move our nation forward why are you people hiding it then nigerians began to visit the official pages of chicago state university their official page on linkedin their official page on Facebook, their official page on Twitter, Nigerians began to visit them and began to send them messages. Some sending them messages using hurtful words, saying they must come out and do the right thing to the point that the president of the school had to lock her Twitter page. The school began to lock their official handle so that people will not be able to reach them. And this message is beginning to spread across the whole world. It was trending number one on Twitter. Look at some of the messages Nigerians sent to them. This one says, Why sponsoring a drug trafficker to destroy Nigeria? We will haunt you guys till Jesus Christ returns. Enough of this rascality against our country. And this message says, Hello, how much do you sell nursing certificates? Because I'm interested in buying one. Because it just happens that a drug baron bought one from your school. Please name your prize. Oh! And this message says, You guys are sponsoring a drug dealer in Nigeria who is running for presidency. How much does it cost to get a certificate like he did? And why did you delete the 1979 yearbook where you alleged he graduated? Oh! And this one says, Customer service representative, client relationship, congratulations. <laughs> and this one says, do the right thing, all eyes on the judiciary. And this one says, why are you trying to cover up the criminal drug baron called Tinubu? And that is it. The school's pages are on fire right now. And Nigerians are spreading this message across the whole world. Now look at another evidence that popped up. Remember I told you yesterday that since they have removed the 1979 yearbook that does not contain Tinubu's picture from their website, they are going to doctor one, put one Mumumu picture and bring it back and put it there. Look at what they have done. They now went to the 1980 yearbook and put a picture of Tinubu there with his name spelled wrongly to tell you, say, Wuruwuru Day inside. You claim that he graduated in 1979 the AS certificate where he carry carries 1979. How is his picture appearing in 1980 yearbook with his name spelled incorrectly? Everywhere this man turns to, there's controversy. Are you now telling me that a student that spent how many years in the school, they can't spell his name correctly? And what is his picture doing in the 1980 yearbook? And let me say this, Nigerians living outside the country in uk america and all other places made efforts and they retrieved the 1979 yearbook for the chicago state university and they have told us that tinubu's picture was not one of the pictures there and what i can tell you confidently is that as we speak people are already making efforts to find those who attended that school and who graduated the same time that Tinubu said he graduated in 1979, surely some of them will still be alive and their names are on their yearbook. And through investigations, people will find those ones who are still alive and they intend to ask them to tell them about their classmates, Gloria Bola Tinubu. It will go down in this country because well-meaning Nigerians and obedience are willing to use their resources to stick out their neck to blow this whole truth out to the open we already know the truth we know say the man no go to school but those who are trying to cover it up everybody already knows but those who are trying to cover it up to make it look like we are just noisemakers we are going to shame them we are going to put them to heavy shame because sooner or later well-meaning nigerians are going to search out the whole truth and let the whole world see that we have been right all along. But until then, <laughs> make I still enter town. Make I go get some Ogbonge political news. We will not go like. Why? Because not because of Una. Now I did here. So don't go away. Don't go. Away.